Hey guys, what's going on? This is Charles at Corona Geek, and in this video, I want to share with you a tutorial that Craig at GP Animations put together on how to build a breakout style game using Corona SDK. Now, he's provided an entire tutorial from beginning to end, uh, complete with source code, and I will put a link to that tutorial in the description of this video. But I just want to share the, some of the gameplay with you real quick so that you could see uh, kind of what the tutorial covers and what you can expect to uh, to get out of it. So here, let's just go ahead. We're gonna we got a start screen here with a play button. We're just gonna go ahead and click on it. I've brought this up in the simulator, so I've got it zoomed up quite a bit. But but as you can see, that we uh, we're basically we're keeping score of how many zombies we kill, which are basically the blocks at the top uh, that we're gonna collide with. And then there's a couple of levels that are involved with this game. So you've got we start out with Atlanta. We end up in New York City, uh, and then once we complete the, the the zombie hordes or waves there, then we can uh, complete the entire game. So you could add additional levels if you want, but you, it's, there's enough there to get you going so that you get the idea of what's happening. There's also, if you hear there in the background, there's also a, a bit of an audio loop as for the game to give it a little bit of a background sound. And then whenever we uh, take control of our paddle and put our ball into play, whenever there's a collision, then there is a sound associated with that as well. So it shows how to load up audio, how to load up uh, graphics, how to use the built-in physics engine, how to do a little bit of a menuing system, uh, and also keep score of, of how many zombies that we've killed, how to remove objects from the screen whenever the, a collision occurs. So there's a lot of things going on in this tutorial. Let me see if I can actually survive this. It's a little hard to do with the mouse on the simulator. Uh, sometimes I lose focus if I move too quickly. There we go. Oh, just like that. Now oh, there we go. Now that, that last block just didn't want to go. All right, so we we've survived the the zombie uh, hordes and we have completed the game. Now, like I said, you could add additional levels to this if you want. Uh, everything is included in the tutorial, and so I, like I said, I'm going to include a link to that tutorial down in the script description of this video so go check that out and if you happen to make a mashup of this you, you you make some variation of the game then make a video and send it to me I would love to have a video response to this video and I'll post it and share it with everybody else all right so there you go there's a good example of how to create a game using Corona SDK and uh, leave your comments below and until next time happy coding